Hi student, welcome back to Computer Graphics Subject. For today's topic is on projection. I hope at the end of the chapter you will be able to understand what is projection and several type of projection. And I hope you can distinguish on the type of projection. So let's find out what is projection. So what is projection? Projection is representing the n-dimensional object into n minus one dimension. All right, you have to remember that it is nothing. It's just representing n-dimensional object into n minus one dimension. All right. Suppose that you take the three D object. Okay, here. So it's going to represent that three D into 2D because n minus 1 dimension n is 3 minus 1 so you have 2 so it is the process of converting okay it is a process of converting a 3D object into a 2D object it's not only representing the converting a 3D object into 2D object but it's also defined as a mapping or transformation of the object in projection plane or view plane and this view plane or projection plane is basically referred to the display surface. Okay. In the next slide, you will have a lot and to deal a lot with the projection plane and view plane words. So basically, these two words refer to the display surface. And there are two types of projection, parallel projection and perspective projection. This is the overview of projection which is projection can be divided into two types, which is parallel and also perspective. For parallel type of projection, it can be divided into two types, which is orthographics and also oblique. Okay, for parallel, it have two types, orthographic and oblique. So basically, orthographic can be viewed as a multi-view or can be viewed as a axonometric. So they say indirectly, this orthographic type of parallel projection can be viewed as a multi-view or can be viewed as a isonometric view, which is whether you can view as a isometric or dimetric or trimetric. Okay, this is the part of orthographics. Why in obliques, it can be viewed either as a cavalier or either it can be viewed as a cabinet. Okay, there are two types under this oblique type of parallel projection, which is cavalier and cabinet. While for perspective type of projection can be divided into three types, whether it can be one point, two points, or three points. Alright, so basically this is the overview of type of projection. Okay, we have parallel and perspective. For parallel, it has two types, orthographic or oblique. And orthographic either can be viewed as a multi-view or isometric view, diametric view or trimetric. For oblique, it can be divided into cavalier and cabinet. Why perspective type of projection? It can be divided into one point, two point and three point. What is exactly the parallel projection? In this, the coordinate position are transformed to the view plane along parallel lines. Okay, the word parallel here means that the projection will be more toward parallel lines. So parallel lines here is the one that will look like this. It will transform or travel in parallel. Okay, in parallel lines. So let's see in this figure, this projection plane is the one that I mentioned in the previous slide. Okay, this is the projection plane or we can call this as a view plane. Okay, this is the view plane or projection plane. In this plane, a transformation of 3D object is converting into a 2D object. That's the concept. Here is the coordinate positions. Okay, are transformed to the view plane along parallel 
line. So this object, this object will be placed into this projection plane. So this object will be traveled in parallel line. This object okay, will be traveled into this projected plane and then it will travel to the center of projection in parallel line. Okay, so if we move or travel in parallel like this. A projection is said to be parallel if center of projection is at infinite distance from the projected plane. So here there are two keywords here that I highlight. One is the center of projection or we can call this as COP. What is COP? And one more, this COP is at infinity distance. Okay, it's at infinite distance or infinity from the projected plane. So the COP here means that, okay, COP or center of projection is mean that can be considered as the eye or the person eye or is where you standing or where you see the object. Okay, so basically center of projection is our eye, okay, our eye or our where we standing and where we see the object coming to. Okay, so center of projection is the eye or the person eye. Suppose there is a person at infinite distance, so this image will be appear parallelly. Okay, suppose there is a person standing here, so the object will be traveled into this projected plane and then it will travel parallelly to the eye, okay, so from where we standing or from where we see. So the project, projection line are parallel to each other and extended from the object and intersect the view plane. So this is the object A and B. Okay, this is a line connecting A to B. So this is a line of the object AB. So this object of AB, okay, this object, okay, is will be traveled into this projected plane inside here. So here is where the intersection is happen. So the name inside here will be A dash and B dash, okay, because it's travel into this projected plane. So we can label this as a, a dash and B dash. And then it will travel through this in a parallel line. Okay, it will travel parallel line into the center of projection as infinite distance. Infinite distance or it infinity is mean that you don't know where it is or you don't know where you're standing. Okay, so here is the what you need to understand about infinite distance or infinity. You don't know where you are and we, you, you don't know where you are standing. So what you see is that this object will be traveled through this projected plane and then it will travel to you through the parallel line. Next is on perspective projection. So what is perspective projection? The projection is said to be perspective if the center of projection or COP is at finite distance from the projected plane. Okay, so this is, let looks into this figure. This is the projected plane, okay, or the view plane here. And this is the object, A and B is a line connecting as an object, A and B. So this object will be projected into this projection plane. Okay, this object will be projected into this projection plane and the center of projection COP, okay, the center of projection or COP is at finite distance. Okay, based on this is at finite distance. So the person is standing here. Okay, the eye, the person eye or the you as a user is standing here. The person see from here this projected plane. Because in this perspective, the keyword here is that the COP or center of projection of the eye or the user or the person standing at finite distance. Okay, So this means you know your location of where you're seeing, the, loca the location of where you're standing. So you know your eyes 
there is a finite distance so you can see this object okay you can see this object to this the distance from where you're standing to this projected plane okay the person is standing here the person see from here to this projected plane the person can see the projector's ray from here as well okay this is the projector's ray or projection ray you can see from here so this is the perspective projection and the main difference between parallel and perspective projection is that the COP or center of projection is at finite distance. And the visual effect is similar to human visual system. Okay, in perspective is just like how we or human perceive a object or how we see the object. So it's similar to human visual system. Just like a normal humans. So, object appears smaller as distance from the center of projections increase. Okay, the center of projection or the eye or where you're standing is the eye of observer increase. So, when the COP is increased, the object tend to appear smaller as distance. Okay, so whatever the object outside, okay, whatever the object outside is big, when it's placed in this projection plane, the size will be decreased. Okay, the object will appear smaller from the eye of observer. It's difficult to determine the exact size and shape of object. Okay, so uh, in this perspective, it's quite difficult for us to determine the exact size and shape of the object because it's in the perspective projection. So next we will discover what are the type of parallel and also what are the type of projection. As I mentioned that the projection can be divided into two. One is parallel, one is perspective. So for parallel projection, it can be divided into two types. One is orthographic, one is oblique. So for orthographic type, it, we can be view this orthographic projection as a multi-view. Or we can view as an isometric view, diametric view, or trimetric view. For oblique, it can be divided into two, whether it's cavalier or cabinet. So in this slide, we're going to cover on the orthographic first. So what is orthographics? Okay, let's find out what is orthographics. So in this orthographic projection, the direction of projection is said to be normal to the projection of the plane. Okay, here is the orthographic. Okay, here in the inside this orthographic, whatever the projection is placed in the projection plane, the direction is normal. Let me draw something so that you can see this clearly. Okay, let's say we have this projected plane here. Okay, and then we have the object of A and B. It's a line. Here is A, here is B. Okay, and then it's been projected inside here. So this line is a A dash, B dash. Okay, so whatever the projection is placed inside this projection plane, okay, so the direction is normal. Here is the object A and B. Okay, here is the object and here is the projection plane. Okay, this is the projection plane. Okay, here is the A and B is the object and then here is the projection plane. Here is the projection plane. So this object is placed inside this projection plane. This is AB is the object and then when it's put inside this projection plane, we label it as a A dash and B dash. So in orthographic projection, the direction of the projection is normal. Okay, is normal to the projection of the plane. Okay, this direction is just normal. So in orthographics, it consists of either multi-view or axonometric view. Okay, and this axonometric can be viewed as an isometric, diametric, and 
trimetrics. Generally, there are three types of autographic projection which are consist of front projection, top projection and side projection. So we have three front, top and side projection under autographic projection. So here in this figure, we have this object. Okay, this is a, an object and this is the all the shape that you can see from certain view. Okay, this is from the top view. Okay, this is what you're going to see from the top of this object. And this is the front view. Okay, this is what you're going to see from this front view. And this is the side view. Okay, you can see this view from the side from this object. So there are three types of this autographic projection. And inside this autographics, the line are parallel to each other making an angle 90 degree with the view plane. Okay, so all the lines that are parallel to each other, it will make an angle of 90 degree with the view plane. Okay, this is about the autographic line under the parallel projection. The next type of parallel is oblique. In oblique projection, the direction of projection is not normal to the projection of the plane. That means that it's not normal, it means that it's not parallel to each other. That's the main difference between oblique and autographics. We can view the object better than autographic projection. Even though the oblique is not parallel, it's giving a better view than autographic projection. And basically, there are two types of oblique projection. There are cavalier and cabinet. For cavalier type of oblique projection, the projected line is making an angle 45 degree with projected plane. As a result, the line of the object length will not change. Okay, there are two keywords here for cavalier. One is it's make an angle 45 degree. And then it will result in the line that the object length will not change. Okay. So even though it's just 45 degree, the line of the object or the object length will not change. But for cabinet projections, for cabinet projection, it's make an 63.4 degree angle with the projection plane. Here the line is perpendicular to the weaving surface are projected at half of their actual length. Okay, is different from this cavalier. Okay, cavalier is making 45 degree, but for cabinet projection is make 63.4 degree angles. Okay, and in cavalier, the object length is will not change, but for cabinet projection the objects will see or projected at half of their actual length. So you can see from this figure of the cavalier projection and cabinet projection. For cavalier, it will mix a 45 degree, okay, and the object length will not be changed. But for cabinet projection, it's make only six, it's mix 63.4 degree, okay, degree angles, and the uh, and you will see that the object is projected at only half of the actual length. Let's look into the perspective projections. In perspective, the distance from the center of projection to project plane is finite and the size of the subject is varies inversely with the distance which will as a result will look more realistic. Suppose that there is a center of projection or the person or I standing here. Okay, he's standing here. He was able to see the object and all this projected plane. That distance is at finite distance. Okay, you know where you are standing. Okay, it at finite distance. Then we can consider this as a perspective projection. So whatever object that going through this kind of projection, the size will be reduced. The size is going to be reduced. So you can see from this figure the object, this is the object, is going through this projection plane, so the size is reduced. The distance and angles are not preserved and parallel lines do not remain parallel. Instead, 
they all will converge at all single point called center of projection or projection reference point. There are three types of perspective projection consists of one point perspective projection, two point perspective projection, and three point perspective projection. So for one point perspective projection is said to be simple to draw. Okay, this one is simple to draw because it's easily to draw on the projected plane because it only have one point. For two point perspective projection is give better impression of depth. Okay, better impression of depth is mean look like this. Okay, if have two point from here and here. Okay, from this figure is two point from this view and this view. And the third one is the three point perspective projection is the most difficult to draw. Okay, it is most difficult to draw because it have three point and is involve three D. Okay, three dimensional object. Okay, it have this three point one, two, and three. Okay, from this direction, this direction, and this direction. So that's all for today' topic. So what we have covered today is that we covered about the type of projection, which is consists of perspective and also parallel projection. We also covered about the type of parallel and also the type of perspective projection. So if you have any question, you can comment on the tab below. Thank you and see you in the next video.